Welcome to the Daily Business and Finance Show. Verizon restores services after outage impacts over 100k users, Devon Energy flagged as a new short idea at Hedgeye, and union activities could influence key stocks. CVS Health Board moles company breakup amid strategic review, while Nike's mixed FQ1 results show profit beat but sales miss. NVIDIA halts development of GB200 NVL36 asterisk 2 dual rack 72 GPUs, according to analysts, and an imminent Iranian missile attack on Israel sends oil and gold prices soaring. PepsiCo acquires Siete Foods for $1.2 billion targeting the Mexican-American food market, as CVS and Cigna PBMs face scrutiny from lawmakers over alleged anti-competitive practices. Stay tuned after the short ad break to learn more about these stories. Verizon restored services after a major outage affected 105,000 users nationwide on Monday. The Federal Communications Commission is investigating the cause. Users reported issues with mobile service and Wi-Fi calls, particularly in cities like Chicago and Los Angeles. The outage followed Verizon's $3.3 billion deal with Vertical Bridge to manage wireless towers. Devon Energy was added as a new short idea at Hedgeye, with a potential 25% downside. Analyst Fernando Valle cited concerns over recent deals and significant debt. Devon's shares rose 1.6% on Tuesday, while West Texas Intermediate Crude Oil increased by 3% to above $70 per barrel. Dock workers at U.S. ports from Maine to Texas are striking over wages and automation, raising concerns about holiday season goods shortages and supply chain inflation. President Biden may intervene if the strike lasts more than a few days. Retailers like Target and Walmart are prepared, but automakers face potential congestion issues. CVS Health's board is considering breaking up the company due to pressure from shareholder activists. They are consulting with bankers, but no decision is imminent. Hedge fund Glenview Capital Management will meet with CVS executives to push for changes, according to the Wall Street Journal. Nike shares are fluctuating after hours. First quarter profits were $0.70 cents per share, down from $0.94 cents last year. Total sales missed estimates and investor day was postponed. Revenue fell 10.4%. Footwear and apparel sales declined, but equipment sales rose 15%. Shares are down over 3%. NVIDIA has halted development of its dual-rack GB200 NVL36-2 with 72 GPUs, leading to a 3.5% drop in shares. Analyst Ming-Chi Kuo reports that NVIDIA will now concentrate on the single-rack version. This change raises concerns about supply chain execution but demonstrates a pragmatic approach. Han Hai will begin mass-producing servers with NVIDIA's GB200 GPUs next month. Iran is reportedly preparing a ballistic missile attack on Israel, escalating tensions. Gold prices near record highs as the Federal Reserve signals smaller rate cuts. Crude oil prices rebound with West Texas Intermediate up 3% to over $70 per barrel and Brent crude rising to nearly $79 per barrel. Israel begins a ground incursion in Lebanon targeting Hezbollah, but no plans to invade Beirut. OPEC Plus meets Wednesday, no policy changes expected. Goldman Sachs raises gold forecast to $2,900 an ounce for early 2025 due to rising ETF flows and central bank purchases. PepsiCo confirmed a $1.2 billion deal to acquire Siete Foods, founded in 2014 and specializing in grain-free and dairy-free Mexican-American foods. Siete's products include tortillas and tortilla chips made from almond flour and cassava. The acquisition aims to expand PepsiCo's multicultural portfolio, pending regulatory approval by mid-2025. Pharmacy benefit managers run by health insurers are under scrutiny in Congress. Senators Ron Wyden and Sherrod Brown have urged the Federal Trade Commission to investigate co-manufacturing practices by CVS Health and Cigna, citing concerns over reduced drug choices and higher costs. They highlighted subsidiaries Cordavis and Qualant Pharmaceuticals' roles in this issue. Thanks for tuning in to the Daily Business and Finance Show. Stay informed, stay ahead. 
Join us tomorrow for more insights and updates on the financial world. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. Good night for now, until we cross paths again tomorrow. This content is sourced from the Seeking Alpha website, so support our podcast by becoming a Seeking Alpha Premium subscriber. See the show notes page for links to sign up. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. This podcast provides information only and should not be construed as financial or business advice. Check out our other podcasts in our network at ClassicStudios.com.